Okay, this might be like one of the most important screencasts yet, scaling data. Um, it's like part of every every project I've ever done involves some some form of scaling data. You got to get you got to get the data into the format you need it to be in. Um, so here's a couple ways of doing that. Uh, these two sliders up here, these orange sliders, are set to go from 0, 0.0 to 1.0, um, and I want them to be a different. If you need them to be a different range, let's say you you need it to be you know 0 to 100. How do you get a 0 to 1 slider to output, you know, to scale that data so that it's no longer 0 to 1, it's actually 0 to 100? And I don't mean going into the settings of the slider and changing the range of the slider. I mean, once the data is, is there, it's given to you, how do you scale it to the, uh, a different range? So you can just use math objects. Uh, the expression object will let you do it. Um, so let's say you have, you could operate in this base range uh, method of thinking. So. I know my data goes from 0 to 1, but let's say I need it to go from 12 to 15. Totally arbitrary, doesn't matter. You could say our, the base is 12 and the range is 3. And now it's going to go from 12 to 15. And the way we're doing that is we're just saying ex, we just have an expression here that says take the float that's coming in um, times, uh, well, there's three floats coming in. There's the data, there's the base, and then there's the range. So we're just taking the data coming in times the range plus the base. So F1, F2, F3 are, correspond to first inlet, second inlet, third inlet. And bond 3 is just making sure that whenever you change any of these values, they all get resent. So that's, otherwise you would only get, you would only see your data change. You wouldn't see your data change when you change these values. You would only see the data change when you change the uh, actual first primary inlet. Um, <clears throat> scale is my favorite way of doing it. Scale is like one of my favorite objects in Max. Uh, it's super easy and really powerful. So <clears throat> you've got the same thing here, 0 to 1 value. And let's say you want your data to go from 12 to 15. You just say uh, 0 to 1 is my input range. So scale takes four parameters. Input high, sorry, input low, input high, output low, output high. So my input is set to zero to one, which is correct for my slider that's coming in here. Um, I, now I just tell it what I want my output range to be. So I would say 12 to 15, and then 12 to 15. It's right. I, I like a scale because it's so easy to understand. It's so simple. You just tell it what you want your input low, input high, output low, output high, mm -hmm. really, and it does the mapping automatically. And you know you can actually, it's a great, I'll show you in a second, but it's a great way to even just flip a number upside down. So if you want zero to one become to become one to zero, you could just say zero, one, one, zero, and mm -hmm. we'll flip that. Which I think I'm just gonna point out that even though you have set, have this set up really elegantly, you can just put all of these, all of this information as an attribute on the, in scale. Sure, you don't have to have number boxes. You can just set everything in the scale object itself as attributes, right? right. And that's what, you usually do actually uh, unless you need to sort of interactively tune mm -hmm. the values to be whatever whatever they should be uh, all right